Let's consider for a moment that one of the most important reasons to analyze metaphors in a business setting is because they may help you improve your buyer's memory. Buyers typically forget 90% of the content you share after 48 hours, and it's not practical to worry about this severe rate of forgetting. It is more practical to ask, what is the 10% message that I want them to remember? Once you identify a main message and no more than three supporting points, we advocate including them in a 10% slide, meaning a slide that is designed in a way that is distinct from any other slide and repeated multiple times throughout a sales deck. Since in this series of neuroscience studies, we've been talking about the use of metaphors in sales presentations, we must ask this question. What happens when you select the metaphor and you stretch it across an entire presentation, including the 10% slide? I conducted the study because content creators advocate a best practice, meaning selecting a metaphor and referencing it often, especially when they establish a theme for a presentation or a video or an entire event. This intent is sensible. After all, it feels like a good idea to create coherence among different components of a message or an event. But is there such a thing as too much consistency? During the study, I divided buyers into four groups and invited them to watch a presentation related to a software platform that promised four steps to customer success. Group one was exposed to no metaphors and the rest of the groups were exposed to an increasing number of metaphors on the same theme, mountaineering. I chose this metaphor because an industry survey we conducted prior to the neuroscience study revealed that the mountain metaphors were the most popular in business content. So in this study, group two saw a mountain metaphor on two slides out of 12. Group three saw the mountain metaphor on four slides and group four saw the mountain metaphor on eight slides. The more we stretched a metaphor, the less motivated buyers were to keep processing the content as indicated by their AEG signal. And the stretched metaphor conditions also invited fewer reactions as indicated by buyers GSR signal. And in terms of long-term memory, when we started increasing the same metaphor, the memory scores decreased. And remember the importance of the 10% slide that contains the most important messages to remember. Buyers seem to be more excited when there was a metaphor in the 10% slide, but if the presenter started abusing the metaphor throughout the presentation, they started feeling less motivated and less attentive when they saw a metaphor in the 10% slide again. Buyers in group one who saw no metaphors at all were less excited when they viewed the first few 10% slides, but they were more attentive during the last 10% slide. Group two, where the metaphor was sparse, also had higher motivation and lower fatigue when the 10% slides had no metaphors. Overall, the findings from the study suggest that you can use metaphors in 10% slides since people get excited and motivated, but abusing one metaphor, especially a cliche one, throughout the presentation leads to inattentive and unmotivated buyers.